My enemies are many. My equals are none. In the shade of olive trees, they said Italy could never be conquered. In the land of pharaohs and kings, they said Egypt could never be humbled. In the realm of forest and snow, they said Russia could never be tamed. Now they say nothing. They fear me, like a force of nature, a dealer in thunder and death. I say, I am Napoleon. I am Emperor. Uh, greetings and welcome to episode one of my Napoleon Total War 3 France campaign and this my friends is a the f first episode of this brand new campaign which I've been really looking forward to. The first thing I'd like to do is thank all of you for your wonderful advice, your wonderful support, your tactics, your strategies, everything, every minutiae that you have put forward here of what we should do and we will be implementing the council's plans forth with my friends from this episode forth now of course things might come along that might ha we might have to sort of work on the fly as it were adjust our plans something we haven't quite seen but this camp this episode is going to be one way to hopefully just remain calm we m we're just going to start building we're going to start recruiting the economy is going to be absolutely paramount your infrastructure is going to be paramount a lot of the, a lot of the council saying be careful of what you do with your generals because it's once a general some of these generals cannot be replaced of course Napoleon I have been advised if Napoleon is injured he will uh, eventually reappear so just but Napoleon can only be wounded but he can't I don't think he can be killed um, but he sort of reappear but even then you'll lose probably one of the finest military minds um, that has ever been and you'll be lost for quite a while now these other generals on the on, on the other hand will be gone for good as you can see, we do have quite a number here. Look at that. De Devaux. Monsieur? We've got Ney here as well. We've got oui, um, Murat. And we're also down here in Italy. We have Monsieur. Messina. So we're going to have to be very, very careful. We do. But one thing will definitely be happening, and I know that the council have called for this as well, is that Napoleon will be sent eastwards to deal with the Austrians. That will absolutely happen regardless because we know that we do need a powerful force to beat the Austrians. As you can see, many of you know the Austrians are already at war with us, as are the, the, the Russians. But the Russians are a far-off threat for now, of course, but as many of the Council also said, the chances of Austria just staying still here, not doing anything against us, are going to be remote, to say the least. So we've got to be prepared here, and as you can see, the front line here is already in Munich and Stuttgart, so we've got to be very, very careful here. We are going to be putting Please back you. Messina back to Torino here. We want to build the army here he's got. We don't want to be sending forth. We don't know what's here. And again, Jasper has been a, our so spy master. Has requested we move the spy, our main, our only spy at the moment, into Austrian territory to gain as much intelligence, always moving him around, finding out as much intelligence as we possibly can. So what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to send him to Munich. So that's the very that first, our very, very first task here. As you can see, Ori on his way here. Oh, we've also got two gentlemen here. Now, our research development is going to be absolutely key. Now, thankfully, we've got two gentlemen here. Uh, we've got Chateaubriand, and we've also got yeah, Rap. We're going to send them here. This is the only classical universe we've got is Orleans here in Paris. Now, of course, Paris, look at this. Sort of spider's web here of roads and, and sort of canals. And massive infrastructure in terms of economy here for for France here is huge. It's going to be the absolute linchpin, the anchor from which this campaign will be proceeding forth. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do these small, at the moment they seem small, almost insignificant, but in the latter stages they will pay dividends for us. So we're going to send Rap immediately here. That will help reduce... Aha, a lieu d'apprentissage et de culture. 
And he's also got a lawyer, so plus one to civil. So we're going to probably be moving into here. We're going to get national debt first, which I'd like to try and get national debt. And the reason is that economy is going to be absolutely crucial. Almost every single council member has, has sort of put forth the economy has to be robust. It has to be built up. It isn't it isn't booming at the moment, but it can be if we invest our time and our resources wisely in it. It will be absolutely rampant, sir, at one point. Now, we've also got Chateau Briand here, which we will send to New Orleans. He won't make it this particular season, but he shall get there. But poss probably in late or early, no, probably late September he'll get there, which is absolutely excellent here. And as you can see, we've got a lot to invest in here. We've got 13,000 gold. And as you can see, not much in, in, in terms of income. We have to turn that around. We also mustn't forget to pull Messina back here into Torino. Of course, we can move through our allies here in, in uh, Italy. Uh, also, the council saying, even though these, these nations are allied with you, they will turn on you pretty quickly if things start to go absolutely pear-shaped for us. So we've got to be careful here what we do. As you can see, the majority of our sort of forces our main armies are around Strasbourg, but of course Napoleon will probably be moving towards Stuttgart soon. These other we, we do need a general, I think, guard, guarding Paris. I don't like to leave Paris undefended and also perhaps start to begin to build up these armies to full. But again, we have to get our economy up and running as well at the same time. We've of course got Hanover here, which was a question I put to the council. We've had perhaps giving it to Saxony, maybe, or even giving it to Prussia. Um, and that way then we sort of we can lock them into maybe an alliance as you can see here we do have Swedish force here which I don't like here at war we're at war with them that's going to be a little bit of a problem there for us we do have a general in here as you can see Bernardo but he is not our finest general strong defender though general of the Grand Army and steady under fire so actually he's not too bad at all I mustn't dismiss him offhand but he's going to be a strong defender. So actually, if he was staying here, he would be an excellent defensive force. It might be that they might push out to against us here. We're at peace with Mecklenburg, but these things might change drastically. And again, infrastructure is going to be key. We don't have any infrastructure at all, which is an absolute shambles, to be honest with you, my friend. So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll start. Paris definitely needs to be... Basic roads here need to be increased here. We need to get this infrastructure up and running. Everything will flow from Paris in terms of economic might, the infrastructure. And as you can see, I think also the Eastern Front will need to have that uh, that infrastructure. So again, we're going to have the basic roads here in Strasbourg and also in Stuttgart as well. I've got here as well, but because we're, we're here, I don't think this really needs it at the moment. Now uh, there's Marseille as well, which I think also needs to be, because it's a coastal city, but it can be a very powerful coastal city, particularly with the shipyards here. The shipyards are going to give us some good ships here. 38 guns. Merchant ship. Now we have... Oh, we've also got Corsica, which we mustn't forget. And again, we can have a commercial port here as well. But we would like to send and get that ivory. As you can see, ivory here is 46 and so is spice there's ivory in Iran is quite close to Gibraltar we've got to be careful also the council saying do not fight Nelson unless you are absolutely going to be able to overwhelm him with just the sheer amount of ships you put Nelson will absolutely give you a thrashing every single day of the week so we're going to try and avoid Nelson as best we can we could of course raid the trade lines but we don't want to draw British tr ships down to here what we will do is probably move this French fleet here, which is a very powerful fleet here, under Villeneuve. There's tea supplies here, and there's ivory there. We'd like to try and seal off the ivory if possible, but hopefully get the spices. If we can get the spices, which are here in Algiers, what we will do is we'll just move this fleet here for the meantime, just to give us that. We've got the span the Spanish on here, but that's okay. So it looks like we've been moving into the Mediterranean Sea here. We want to keep all our fleets together if possible. We've got this fleet here, which has two trade ships and also a thirty-eight a thirty-two gun. So let's see what we've got down here. 
Great Britain has got a lot of trade here, particularly looks like with the Ottomans here and also the Persians. Or the Prussians, I beg your pardon. Now, let's get our infrastructure, as I'm saying, up and running here. Every single city needs to have infrastructure. That's going to be an absolute crucial... Uh, I know we're spending a good part, portion of money here, but infrastructure is going to be very, very important to us here. And this investment will pay dividends down later down the road. Two turns there. We love the same for Torino. Just, just make sure that everything. Right, so we've got ten thousand left here. Yep. We do need to invest in our armies, but what we will do is we will spend money to make our economy really, really strong here. And as you can see, we've got a lot of op on, op on options. We've got a supply post plus five percent replenishment. We've got the gunsmith. I'd, I'd like to try and get that if possible. It's minus read upkeep costs. We want to drive down our costs of our infantry units. If we can get our money, if we can get the cost of the troops down, it means we'll have more money at the end of the, of the sort of the every year. Also minus two in this region, and also there. But that—that's what we're looking for—is that. Also, we get plus hundred to regional wealth, Manufa manufactory or a, a factory, effectively a gun, uh, cannon shop. That's minus three, but got a market here as well but to be honest with you it's only going to give us plus 100 here we might as well go for this here and drive down the cost of our infantry units I, and that's not I don't think that's regional it's not doesn't say so it's that for all our our units so I think we'll get the gunsmith here just for, just for that that added bonus there so we need to take two turns as well ah look at that Reams. We don't have that there. And f have we got? Yeah, we have got it there. That's excellent. We we'll try and make Paris our epicenter. We've got the stud farm here, which will reduce, reduce the cost of cavalry as well in the, in the region. We we'll also give 150 the regional wealth. Lumber mill. Oh, look at that. Ooh, minus 12 percent. Wow. So actually, we could do that, and it'll help reduce the cost of our building in this region here again we've got a factory here as well that's what we need there that's a good factory to have regional wealth looks allow us to enable some steam engine which we definitely need here minus six upkeep costs for artillery which again we want to drive down that cost and for 940 i think that is worth it we've got a merchant house here as well in in france plus 200 plus 12 per turn to the regional wealth 1,410 here. We want to use our, our money wise. There's a thousand for the factory here, which we don't really need <coughs> at the moment. Ah, we want more spies for definite, but that's quite a big investment there. I think what we will do is we'll get the merchant house. There's another merchant house here, so we could really boost. I know this is Toulouse here, down here, but this Toulouse has got a gold mine as well. We also need to look at inc increasing our ports as well, as you can see, commercial ports. There's another factory here as well. We could really drive down the cost of a lot of our equipment. But again, we're going to try and focus. Oh, look at that great museum there. Look at it. Probably, oh, look, oh, wait a minute. Grenadiers. Look at that. The Young Guard. So the great a great museum actually gives you the Young Guard. Well that'll be. And we've got the em the Empress Dragoons. <sighs> Heavy cab. Three thousand oh my goodness me. The Great Museum, what a wonder. The Arc de Triomphe, what will that give us? Ooh. Chevalier years, Lanciers. Oh gosh, it's a high morale as well. What about? Oh look at that chart. That's not. Media attack is pretty good. Def good defense as well. Imagine they are expensive. My goodness me. We've got 
this wineries down here, but actually that'll help public order, but also increase the wealth down here. What about Bo have we done Bordeaux? Yes, we have indeed. Drill school, it's a course of justice, which we don't really need at the moment. A drill school down here, perhaps. A drill school in Toulouse. We've got all of this is actually... Look at the recruitment down here. And it's not... Oh, oh, Gren oh Grenadiers down here. Well, also the council saying we also have... You'll have regional specialties and units, so different, different regions will have different uh, sort of a, a certain unit there'll be a specialized unit particular to that particular region which is absolutely fantastic oh look at that grass here but look at these gentlemen here look at the grenadiers down here now some of these would be a wonder especially for napoleon's force what does strasbourg have in terms of that they already have it there what a wonder sir suppose Skirmishers, militia. Also, there was an excellent suggestion the saying we get militia for, for Napoleon. Hey, Napoleon is such a wonderful commander that he would turn militia into sort of into absolutely a, a, you know, a, a real fighting force. Plus four to morale. Plus four. My goodness. Plus eight morale. I mean, his units aren't going to break very, very easily, are they? That's going to be absolutely fantastic to see that. We've got. I'd like to try and start to invest in our in our army as well. But we, I think we'll spend five thousand on our economy for this particular turn. Ooh, 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 look at that here in, in Brussels. And the, oh, look at oh, a theatre here or a cannon foundry, and increase the capacity there. And again, we want, we're looking for that wealth. Enhanced national prestige as well. It's 550. What do we have here as well? Oh, look at that. We've got all oh, a college. Now that could be... That could be useful for us to have a college, actually. Supply post. The gunsmith here would reduce that. A members club and a market. I want to get a college here in Brussels just to increase our research and development. I think that's what we'll do. We'll have a college here. There's a thousand. Now that's a that's a hefty chunk of change there. But I think we need to invest that a thousand in the economy more than the colleges at the moment. And again, oh, I'm not, oh, I think we'll invest in the merchant's house here. And again, try oh, that's six turns. My goodness me. And again, just trying to really boost up that economy. That's going to help with... Tax burden. Oh, oh, commercial port here in Nantes. Well, I think we'd like to get a commercial port here. Down in the Mediterranean here. In Genoa. I know it's a also got a stockyard, a shipyard here. Oh, look at another merchant house here. And also a, a winery as well here. I think we'll invest in this merchant house because it's going to definitely increase our wealth. But I would like to increase our trade as well down here at the commercial port, especially with the Mediterranean on our doorstep. And also here as well from Corsica, but not just yet. Now we need to start investing in our army a little bit as well here. Was there the ability for us to recruit? Because look at the great museum, which I would like to get eventually. The Arc de Triomphe here is going to give us a star fort as well. Oh, look at the Stra oh, look at that tax office here in Strasbourg. Plus four percent of bonus to regional tax rate. I think we'll invest in that tax office as well, especially in Strasbourg. Now, we do need to start investing here now in our army. 
some grenadiers, but that's going to be expensive. We've got line, light infantry here with this. Look at the, but look at them. That's twenty now. The line infantry is th three hundred thirty-six, half the cost of that. And look at their accuracy compared. But mind you, every loading isn't isn't fantastic. But it's not too far off the grenadiers. That's because they've coming with an, a, an echelon here, as you can see here, a double echelon. I think we might get some line infantry and maybe just have a spattering of grenadiers. We want to get this gentleman, uh, Napoleon here. These are veterans as well, so they will be getting veterans. We want to get Napoleon's army up pretty strong. Now we've got this artillery here, but artillery I've been, I've been worn by the council is not as accurate. However, the canister shot is meant to be absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal canister shot. So we will get some artillery. Belgium. Westphalian French linear. Oh, look at that. I think we'll get these veterans here. These are veterans. I think we'll get some of these veterans for Napoleon's army. Uh, no gentlemen, please. Also, perhaps a cannon as well. As I know that Napoleon was a admirer of cannons. Uh, six pounders. Eight pounders, a thousand, my goodness, look at the cost of the artillery, it's staggering. Oh, look at that, twelve pounds, my goodness me, look at the twelve. Set four thousand. What about the cavalry? The cavalry is going to get expensive. I'd like some light and heavy cavalry if possible. Maybe this has some hazards. Oh, look at that, it's so tempting. Oh, oh, look at the grass he is. Oh my goodness me. Only one, 3,456. Good grief. Wait, I, I've really got to curtail my spending habits here in terms of the army because you can sort of go absolutely all in with the armies and just have one massive hey, army. That's not going to do us any good. We do need to build up our armies Monsieur. slowly over time so that our economy can also match the what's happening. We don't want to go bankrupt. So we're just going to build things up slowly here. I know that we are going to be sending Napoleon here just to start with, just in case we have any trouble with the Oceans. We've got these gentlemen ready to go as well, so we've got, we've got some wonderful generals if need be we can send forth. But again, I just, just want to really invest. We've got to keep our, got to keep the border here strong. Might invest. What the general? Oh, look at the generals we've got! My goodness me, sir. Eight hundred, seven hundred, plus one brief soldier, plus four to morale. Oh, blow, look at that! Plus two to command. Plus one. I think we need to have a general on the border here. So. Plus one to combine with leading infantry, plus two to morale and battles, plus four, plus one, plus four. Like this e Louis Gabriel Suchet looks pretty good. He looks even better. Plus four to morale, plus one to command, plus one to land battles. This Jean. Lanay, he looks absolutely fantastic. Can we get? We can get him. I wouldn't mind to get him just because of what we've got on the border here with Prussia. I think we need a strong general here. I know. I know we're sending Napoleon, but I, I'm just going to. I'm based on what the council has told me. You you need to basically outnumber. We need to outnumber so most of our fights. We need to outnumber the enemy. So if we have two powerful or reasonably powerful armies to start with or at least well led armies should I say because they can make all the commanders can make all the difference I think we'll get the gentlemen in this army here because you can see here these gentlemen do need I think 
be better off to be to be commanded by an excellent general. I think we can recruit. <coughs> We've got to be careful we don't overstretch ourselves here. So those two there. Again, we can take that, but again, we're going to be. We're gonna, that's our income for next for next turn. Now we do need. I think we've got enough there. With two of those, two of those regiments will be for Napoleon. Two of them will be for our brand new general here, Jean Lannay. We've got a factory here. I think we're investing the commercial port here in Corsica. And I think also here as well in Nantes. It's a commercial port, so you get plus four and four hundred the regional wealth. Look at that, plus twenty to town wealth here. It will also give us all port defence. Again, that's what we're doing here. So we've pretty much spent all we can here. We've invested in the economy, but also in our in, in our armies as well. We've got actually I'd like to try and keep Paris defended as well. We yes, might send Ney. Actually, I'd like to keep Ney close to Napoleon. I think we'll oui, send uh, Murat to Paris. I'd like to have Paris guarded. I know there might be a little bit of an overreaction here, but I'd like to have Murat and a good general in Paris, just in case Britain decides to move against us. As you can see, we're at war with Britain. I wouldn't mind having a, nice, a good general, a strong general there in command. We've still got Ney here, but I'd like to keep Ney close to Napoleon. Now, I know I'm going to make mistakes, my friends, and you're probably going to be throwing things at the screens when you're watching me. I'm going to make mistakes. I, you know, that's 100% guaranteed. I'm going to rely on you, my friends, the council, to really help push me along on this, to really sort of grab me by the coattails and give me a tug and say, look, you're doing this wrong. Constructive advice is always and will always be welcome, my friends. I'd like to go down the national debt route just to start with, just to give us this, but also to get this down as well. So I'm going to go... We'll get that to start with, then move down. If we get national census, look at that. So again, we're driving down costs, but also it'll give us mass mobilization because you need national census from that. And look what you get then, it drives down the cost of our armies, which we're looking for, always to drive down the cost of our armies here. Now, let's have a look at what we can get now. We need to get trade. Now, Prussia here is, would be an excellent trade partner. Let's see if this gentleman... Indeed! Excellent! So they're indifferent with us, but again, trade is going to be... And Ottomans are unfriendly, but there's a... Can we turn that around? Can we get trade with the Ottomans? They've got a very strong presence in the... Sort of in and out, outside, just outside the Mediterranean, but again, let's see if we can... Yes, indeed! So they're indifferent with us now, which is good to see. So, a lot of trade there. And as you can see here, we can Hessen are unfriendly with us, Hessen. Right by here. But can we get trade with them? Can we just tip things around here? Ah, they don't indeed. So we've got to be careful of Hessen. And friendly Portugal. Very friendly here now. Oldenburg, we can't. We're at war with Sweden, which is absolutely fine. Kingdom of Sisti. Rid of Denmark up here. Can we get trade with them? It, indeed, excellent. As you can see, starting to really get our trade flowing here. I won't always be. The Mecklenburg is quite close to us, so we might try and get with Mecklenburg. Ah, excellent. Kingdom of Sicily down here, where we have a, we have a presence here. In Italy. Also, Regini, Regino de Nap here on end here. Sardinia, Portugal. I might be Portugal and Freddy, but why don't we get trade with Portugal? <laughs> okay, that's oh, they're still in Freddy with us, but at least we've got trade with them. I want to try and keep as many of these as we possibly can. You might see some noise in the background, my friends. I'm going to apologise in advance. Yes, we're getting plenty of trade now. That's actually we can get Sicily here because 
close to them. So we get more trade with Sicily as well. Yes, indeed. So uh, a lot. I wonder if we. I wonder if we should just throw that in as well. For it. Mind you, I can I to sell it to them, to be honest. I might try and sell some of my technologies as well. Let's just try again. No. Nope. Not interested, but we do. I wonder if these would be interested in trade here. Napoli. Yes. So trade is going to be at. That's we, I've got to watch out for them, for this here, for a friend here. But that should have helped us a great deal. I wonder if we can sell some of our... Sorry about that, my friends. So we do have now a, a, a huge trade. Oh, good grief. Look at that. Look at that. Now that's more like it. I think we've done everything we can do here at the moment. Cool. Look at the tree coming in. Look at that. And if we increase the infrastructure, it's only going to grow exponentially. Oh, that's a wonder, sir. Even here, look at that. Well, we've got... That's not good in Mecklenburg. Okay with us, but... Hessen. Not so much. We've got to keep an eye on Hessen. We might even have to move against Hessen eventually. We'll be using Ney to go up against Hessen here. We could take Hessen. But who are Hessen allied with, if anybody, of course? No one at all. We could even deal... Yeah, but they do have a, a, an army here, a sizable force. We might, we, we could even send Napoleon there. If need be. Let's just wait and see what happens first before we start jumping into battles. And uh, we've got national debt on its way. Hopefully, that will be reduced even further once we get our. Monsieur. Once we get Chateaubriand in there here as well into our classical university. Let's end the turn, my friends. Our first turn here, early September. Let's just see what happens here. Let's see what comes our way. I think I've got I know that also a number of the council have been asked to be made generals. Now we've got the general here, this general here. It's our first sort of non our non sort of famous general, as it were, our own general, then I will be looking to make council members generals. We won't be having we won't be you know making huge numbers of generals. Um, because I don't think that's the campaign we're gonna be looking for just yet. We're gonna be doing things you know, very much by degrees. We don't want to be sort of throwing everything we have at all of our and just you know bombarding. We're not going to be able to do that in this particular campaign. Let's end the show. Let's see what happens here. Great Britain, what will they be doing? They're off somewhere. I, I believe that was Nelson, and I, I, we don't want to take Nelson on any time. Okay. Denmark. Denmark seem a sizable. Oh, there's a, ooh, that's a big Ottoman fleet there. Oh, look at the size of that Spanish force there. Luckily, we're allied with them. We will be, of course. It, they just move, they've just moved from there. Oh, it looks like they're going to take that there. They're going to take it with that. That's fair enough. Nope, we're going to leave our ally. Oh, no, they haven't. Oh, that, oh that's an attack office. That was done very quickly. 4670 here. Oh, and it's, I believe we're now in. Yeah, we're in winter. So, now, so this is autumn. All oh, the change of the leaves have changed colour. We're in autumn now. It looks like it's going to get cold. And also, the council also said do not attack Russia in the winter. It will spell your doom. And we will not, my friends. I know the attrition in winter there in Russia is brutal. Now, what's the spices like here in terms of trade? It's 33. It's just... We don't really want to get bogged down in fighting. I think we'll just keep our... our as you can see here, we just want to keep things... We, the ivory's nice, but we don't want to tangle, start attack. Mind you, we do have the Spanish down... Oh my... 122 gunship of the line? I think we might be well protected here with the Spanish. Are the Spanish at war with the British? Oh, they are indeed. If Nelson comes down this way, then you'll face a formidable fleet indeed, sir. 
got the Spanish here, of course, and I wouldn't be surprised if Spain doesn't take Gibraltar off this British, which would be an absolute wonder. That's perhaps why these forces here are being moved. That is a, a sizable force. That's T. That's ivory there. But I think we'll just keep ourselves to ourselves here. We want to make sure that we... we I think we'll start putting together... Oh, look at that. Some port defences here. That's absolutely fantastic. I think we'd like to get some trade ships here, some merchant ships here. We've got 5,000. I think we'll invest in these two, these two here. 38 guns. The, the, the Spanish have got some absolutely just gi gigantic forces. We've got these wineries here as well. Again, we want to keep increasing our... So we invest in the wineries here. What will we get? Plus, that help with the upper class and middle class, but increase the regional wealth here as well. Oh, look, oh, look at this here. Now, of course, we've got the market here as well. A members club gunsmith. We want to keep driving down the cost here of the infantry units. I'm not sure if that's to the region. That's that's really what is because it doesn't say region. So I'm, I'm assuming that this cost will that will drive the cost down of all of our because our tax income here is being eaten up by the army. We need to really drag drive down that cost. invest in a gunsmith here. We're going to drive that cost down as best we can here. We've got a commercial port here as well. If we do that, it'll increase our trade here as well. Indeed, plus tr three units of trade routes. We'll also get some port defences as well, which I think we'll definitely invest in some port defences. There's that trade there coming from Portugal. Oh, look at that clearances. And plus two to regional wealth here as well. Plus two to replenishment rate, 600 in clearances. So again, we're trying to just invest in our in, in our economy, getting it up and running as quickly as we possibly can. Population growth is really stunted here because of the tax burden. We could probably lower our taxes for the lower classes, the trying and the middle class and the middle classes as well to try and. So it's going to lower that there, but it's going to it's going to help with growth. It should turn the tax here. It should turn this around here here as well in Paris as you see here the growth rate should go start to go up tax burden has been reduced so we're going to try and increase our, our lower taxes to help with growth dockyards here at, oh an 80 gun look at that 80 gunner there that is a beast of a ship that we're going to we're going to definitely need to get increase these here at the moment we're going, to just, we're going to focus on our land here. Now, where were those units we've just recruited? Are they ready yet? No. Next turn. That's going to be probably early October, if I'm not mistaken. And let's get our spy oui, into enemy territory here. En route vers une also, we can position. also use the spy to stop enemy reinforcement, Get which you. is definitely going to be... Oh. Does he have double agent? Yes, and also infiltration missions as well. So it's plus three to information. That's going to be fantastic. So what have we got in here? Grenadiers, Infantaria. They've got some. Oh look, I've got heavy cavalry there as well. We've got light cavalry, but we've got Napoleon hey, here as well. Out. He's got the light cavalry. We've got heavy cavalry of our own. Grenadiers, a Chaffal, and also there as well. Mamluks did a guard. We'll be putting, I think we'll put Napoleon here My for the meantime. It's a good side, we do need to get those, but I'd like to try and keep a little bit of, build up a little bit of a bank here. The stud farm will reduce. Infrastructure is almost ready, but again, we don't want to bankrupt ourselves too early on by just recruiting en masse. We can't really afford to do that. I'm looking for areas where we can increase our growth. Plus for the regional wealth. I'm looking for buildings that are going to directly increase. Let's put some regional wealth here. 
I'm just going to drive down the cost of our artillery units, but could invest, that's 800 though, but we could invest at that dockyard, it's going to be, it's a French brig, what we're looking, we're looking for is the 80 guns, the book, book and Torre, what a French, look at that, Anything else we can invest in here that's going to directly increase our, our wealth? There's another stud farm here, but that could actually help us because we start recruiting in Paris. And actually, what we wanted to do was move the rat into Citoyen! France, just in case. Marche! Just in case. That's more like it. Look at that. We might get the stud farm here as well, I think. Oh, actually, look at that clearances. That's more like it. Let's do that there. And do we have another farm? That's already been happening there. That is there. That's being upgraded as well. This is being upgraded as well here, but this actually nothing linking this here, so actually that is a waste of money at the moment. Because there's nothing coming out of uh, out of Corsica just yet the basic roads up instead. Thankfully we've got plenty of Spanish presence here in the Mediterranean so if we can maintain a strong presence along with the Spanish we could indeed deal with the British between us. We've got a, we've got a, I believe we've got a very strong relationship with the Spanish indeed we do. Look at that allied and look at that plus 42 only those minus 39 Excuse my friends, are a beverage. Got some historical grievances, but we are at war with both of us at war with Britain. We've got to be very, very careful, though. Hopefully, the Spanish will take Gibraltar, and that will give us free reign down here. I'm actually, going to move this fleet down to here. I want to protect our assets in the Mediterranean. We're going to. We are going to increase. Our naval recruitment. What can we get from here? We can only get in the defence. Actually, we might in, we might invest in the port defences here. We're going to put port defences all along here. We can't here, but we can in the port in our trade ports here. We can have these just some marauding pirates and enemy fleets. Protect your barbers and your shit, that's what we're going to do, we're going to invest. Well, it's already there, actually, there in Antwerp. What about these gentlemen here? We've all... We don't have to get that because that is not ours here. Oh, look, oh, hello. A trading port, we... We've got a shipyard here. I don't, we don't want to attract... We could have a shipyard, but I think we've got a trading port here off on Calais. We'll just have one. We'll just have one at the moment. And can we have here? What about here? We can have that there, which is excellent. Oh, having the port defences is absolutely fantastic. We can't just get that just yet. We can probably get two of those there. Let's, should we get a commercial port there? We just, there's nothing coming off there at the moment. We've got a direct here with Sardinia. Got a lot of trade here. Oh, look at that sp spices down here in Valletta. That's going to be fantastic. Let's end the turn. I think we don't know what we can do here at the moment, friends. We're going to move no. our spy. Now we know what's going on down here. I think we'd like to know what's down in here in Innsbruck. We're going to continue constantly moving our spy around as Just requested by our spy master. Let's end the turn here. Possible. Ah, Look at that. Moving into there. there. Oh my goodness me. Oh. They've taken out Italy. Ah. 
Yes, we're starting to be hit now on a trade. Oh dear, oh dear, dear me, the British are really going for it now. And it looks like we're going to be facing a formidable. A formidable. P Prussian. Austrian force there. And the Spanish are on the move. That's more like it. That's going to really reduce our time. It's going to take for a lot of these to be to be ready. Look at that! Only two turns it, and we'll have national debt ready. That's been hit there. I'm going to have to send this all heavy cavalry. Which oh, we got conscript. We've got. Préparez-vous pour la bataille. Nous sommes venus. Nous avons vu. Nous avons vaincu. Look, oh my goodness me, there's Nelson. There he is. That is Nelson right there. And I think we're going to have to. Because Italy has just fallen. Or Milan, at least, Northern Italy has just fallen to that very powerful force there, the Austrians. We're going to have to. We're going to definitely have to increase our infantry here. We're not going to be standing still. Accuracy is 20 here. We might get this kind of the guard. I guess much like cavalry here. We've got to be able to make sure we hold this region here. We've got some good troops here, some very good troops here, but they've taken Milan, which is going to potentially be a real problem for us. We could use me here to move down here. And these are earmarked for Napoleon, which we're not going to deter at all. As you can see, we want Napoleon's army to be powerful. Oh, only 1,000. Look at that. Tax income has been hit there pretty hard. Milord. Personne ne saura. À vos ordres. Discrétion, mon mot d'ordre. This is the fight we're going to have here. And that's a very powerful general as well that's been taken, moved in there, the Prussians. Ah. So we got her here. Jean Baptiste, you're cruelly mocked. Ouch. Yeah, perhaps not. Very careful here. Ah, plus one happiness. Excellent. So we, he's building up quite a steady presence there. But my main concern is on this eastern front here. We've got a lot of trade coming in here. That's a lot of trade coming in by there. It really is. We don't want to start losing out. Got a couple of roads. We're going to start building up a little bit of a bank here, just in case things go a little bit awry. As you can see. Our tax income has dropped considerably, so we might just have to increase the taxes here. I know it's going to affect growth, but we just need that tax income at the moment. We might even send May down here to deal with this force. If he's a link up with this army here, but that's a pretty powerful force there, May. We might just move May into. We're allied with Switzerland, we could move into Switzerland here. And he could move into there. What have they got in there? Nothing of any great importance, we, we, but we can't underestimate what's going on there. Look at that, there's going to be a rebellion in there. There's definitely going to be a rebellion in there. That could prove vital to us. I know we've got Ney, we can't really sacrifice our generals, but I'd like to move him just in case things go a little awry. I wouldn't mind to have this general oui, ready monsieur. to strike against them. We're not saying we're going to, but at least within striking distance here we can move across the Alps as it were here. Just move into this territory here, nay, just in case, not so we're going to use him. But I'd just like to have that in the background there, just in case. 
secret society. We definitely need to get that there eventually. I've got Napoleon here, standing strong here against the Austrians. We could take Munich, but what would that unleash? We don't know what's behind them here. We have to be careful. But if we can, if we could take Munich here and hold Strasbourg at the same time, Napoleon could be the man for that. As you can see, we've got these two here, which we don't need. But I'd like to put them into this army here as well. We're going to build up a strike force here. I think it's in Stuttgart. So that if we attack, we attack with overwhelming might. But this is going to be difficult here. They have taken a, they have taken damage. I'd like to try and find out what's going on here with this army. So we'll move our spy into Milan. If a Ney and Messina can attack at the same time and take Milan off the Austrians, that would be an absolute wonder, but we can't we can't overtax ourselves here. This factory here, minus six upkeep, but we can probably do that here to be honest with you. My oh minus sixty here. I must get I think we'll invest in that minus six upkeep cost. I like to, is that isn't that regional my friends? Is this regional? I'm not hundred percent sure if that's regional at all. Actually, what we could do is cancel it here. Would probably best. There's probably more available to us if it was in in here. We can't get many cobble roads. Actually, we'll stop this here. And we'll get cobble roads here, especially in Paris. Let's invest in the cobble roads. It can take eight turns, but still, Paris needs to have these roads so we can expand our our trade. Any more trade we can do. Would they be interested here? Crest trade, we're given the technology here. Conscription. Ah, excellent. Now oh, they're indifferent with us. So that should boost it back up indeed. Trade's gone up. That's gone up to 383,000. We do need to get some more ships down in these trade nodes because they're, they're going to really prove the difference here, these trade nodes. The trade posts, should I say. If we can get more into this spice here, that will be excellent for us. Oh, we can indeed. And what's down here? That's coffee. What is coffee trading at the moment? Coffee, coffee. Yes. Oh, no, that's not really worth it, is it? But what about here? Where's the spices? Here, the letter. I think we moved to our spices at the moment. 29. They're actually going down. We need to sort of spread our trade tentacles as it were. Let's see what's down here. Let's see the letter. Take us a while, but if we can get in more sp get these trade nodes exploding as it were, then that really would be fantastic with spices here. Coffee. Coffee there. So we're just what defending our our assets here. But uh, my friends, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thankfully, we've got a very, very strong Spanish force down here, but I believe Spain might be moving towards Gibraltar and trying to take that. If they could take that, that would be a phenomenal sight for us. It really would. It would draw the bridge, but as you can see, that's Nelson there, and that is, he is, looks, oh my goodness me, look at that there. These are powerful fleets indeed, and very powerful naval commanders, and of course, they're hitting hitting the trade here in the Bataveria, so that's not going to be any good to them, is it? As you can see, war weariness. They might even pull out of the alliance eventually because of the pop populace might not like that, but perhaps now the Britons attack them, it might remove that weariness, but we've got Prussia here as well. Prussia is not doing very well in terms of its growth. Well, we're getting 21 growth here, and we're starting to turn things around here as well. Yeah, we're starting to see a little bit of growth coming into these areas. But again, I, we might strike against Milan if this if they get a rebellion in here. If we attack at the same time as the rebels attack, then it might prove beneficial for us to do that. Wait, because there's definitely going to be a rebellion here without a shadow of a doubt. And look at that. Look at the growth here. They're not going to bring that under control anytime soon. Even the middle classes are going to give them some trouble. 
some ruling classes. So we, if we could strike against Milan and take that, and we're building up a strong force, we might even be able to punch against Munich here and really push back against the Austrians. That would really give them a bloody nose. But again, we've got to find out what we're up against here, in particular Milan. We know what we're up against here. That's a force we could probably deal with Napoleon, but we're not going to take any risks at all. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. As always, my friends, thank you all for your wonderful, wonderful advice. I've tried to implement all your advice as best I can. If I have missed any of your advice, I will go back over it again and I will implement it next episode. There will be a couple of episodes of this, of this new campaign. It looks absolutely fantastic. I am so looking forward to doing this. I really, really am looking forward to this campaign so much. Many of you say it's going to be incredibly tough. I hope it is. Um... I know even though it's started with France, I, I'm enjoying it already. It really is fantastic. But we're going to be absolutely hammered by looks up by the the English British Navy, should I say. So we've got to be careful here. We can try and build our own navy up at some point. But it's just getting our economy up and running to a reasonable amount. And hopefully we can get this up here. Uh, and also try, try and decrease the army upkeep costs if possible. But anyway, friends, I'm going to end it here. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, as always, my friends please please keep your comments coming down please keep your advice coming it's been absolutely fantastic whatever you do my friends please be safe but until next time bye for now